Mark, thanks for joining us. Man of the match performance last week. First thing I've got to ask, so is anyone from Kendall, Penrith, Blade, and you know the, the, the grassroots clubs where you spent a lot of your time growing up? Have they been in touch? Uh, yeah, I've had I have some you know some real nice messages from the guys back home. Um, you know, a lot of the guys were watching back at back at Kendall and stuff, and it's very humbling to get messages off guys that I used to play with when I was a kid and guys I've not spoke to for a few years. So no, it was very very nice. Yeah. And it was clearly a great win against the Springboks last week. One pointer, but there's no doubt 80,000 people in the stadium would have taken that one pointer. The physicality of the game, did, did that take you by surprise at all against the Springboks? Um, not by surprise. I think we, we, we knew in our preparation that it was going to be a very physical game. Um, you know, they've got a very big forward pack and, you know, they pride themselves on that, that physicality. And, um, you know, I think we prepared for that and, uh, you know, to come out of the game with a, with a win in the, in the manner that we did was, was good. And it doesn't get any easier this week. Going back to back, straight into an All Black side. Uh, the likes of Squire, Surveyor, uh, Kieran Reid at eight. Does, is that is that something that's daunting as a sportsman when you come up against a trio like that, or do you see that as a real challenge? No, I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. No, this, these are the these are the things that you play rugby for, and the things that you set out for in your career to play against the best. And um, I just think it's an excitement. I think that boys want to get out there and really challenge themselves against. Uh, against a quality outfit, so um, no, it'll, be, it'll be really good. And against someone like Kieran Reid, who's who's one of the world's best, is, is he still someone? Even though you're going head to head with him now, is he still someone that you'd highlight and go? There are little bits from his game that I'd like to try and add to mine, or just to tr continue to develop yourself as a player. Yeah, I, th I think you look at players across across the globe and pick pick out little bits of what what they do that you that have to improve. But uh, inevitably, you've got to play your own game and, and play to the strengths that you have and. And hopefully that will combat what what they do. So, and from an English back row perspective, what are your what are your key focuses this weekend in, in attempting to stop the All Blacks? Uh, very much what I just said. I think it's going to be one of those where we've got to play to our strengths. Uh, you know, we've got to add energy around the park. Um, you know, we've got high involvements and kind of getting the getting the guys in front of us working as hard as they can as well, and uh, it's adding that real energy. And uh, there's another number eight who, who you work with closely, Dean Rich. Has he been in touch yeah. at all? Uh, a little bit, a little bit too in there, yeah, yeah. No, no, it was good to, to um, you know, the coaches all sent, 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 their, um, sent their regards and stuff. So, um, you know, it's good to know that they're watching and they're picking the game apart as well. <laughs> well, best of luck this weekend. Yeah, cheers, mate. Thank you.